What's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Uh, we about to get into Danny going off on everybody on her Facebook feed. And I'm fully aware that I have on shades in the house, but I'm going to tell y'all right now, my eyes looking like Kyra uh, tote bags, okay? They're a little thick. I went to sleep at 6 a.m. fooling with them. And I'm, I'm back up, okay? So we about to get into it. Uh, if y'all don't like the glasses, you know, I'm saying, I don't know what to tell you. I got, oh, give me a second. Oh, oh, that's better. You can still see my bags. All right, let's get into it. This is the best we're going to get. Okay. All right, so first of all, before we get into this, uh, I want y'all to know <laughs> Danny was putting some account numbers. We got some socials. We got some phone numbers. Um, of course, Sharky! Appreciate the resub, friend. So let's get into it. Oh, also, a lot of y'all, like, when do you be live? I don't be knowing. If you was following me on Twitch, you would know. You get what I'm saying? Now, I, don't get me wrong. I don't promote it enough. I don't. Because when I was trying to promote it, when well, we got to go over to Twitch, when well, we got to sub, when well, we got to... <laughs> I'm tired of y'all crying and I'm tired of begging. So I just kind of deal with what I, what I got going on. Shout out to Patreon. But you know what I'm saying? Here we are. The link will be in the pinned comment for the uh, Twitch where I go live at every day. And the link will be a, uh, in the pinned comment for me, you know, reacting to other videos and put them on Patreon. So do what you may with that. All right. Let's get into it. So, oh my gosh, the lies people tell. So last night, I was up looking at Sherelle expose. Well, excuse me. Sherelle did not expose Danny. Actually, her friends did. Her business partner did. And Corey did last night. So I'm posting that. That video is posted before this one. So y'all can go refer to everything that she's saying in this. Oh, my gosh. The lies people tell to get clout. According the G-Wagon, I took that off her hands to help her to keep her from losing her car just like she just lost her mansion so she's not getting nothing back until she's given until she give my money back my mortgage is on auto pay i've never had any problems paying a bill because i've i never lost nothing so apparently um danny has not been paying her rent in full and um this g-wagon situation she uh, well not rent her mortgage this g-wagon situation uh, she gave like, if I'm not mistaken, like 7,800 to her friend to help with the G wagon. Cause, uh, she was ready to get rid of it. But apparently Danny kind of wanted to make it seem like it was a new car for her, put a bow on it, act like, you know, she just bought the car off the, off the lot. And allegedly she did not <clears throat> notice. I'm saying allegedly, I don't know who lying. And honestly, I don't care. I'm here to just get y'all the tea girl to be <laughs> completely honest with y'all. All right, the payroll for my company comes out of, of the business account and Seven Shift sends the payroll to the employees. I just literally sold that car because I was going to let Corey raffle the car off next until I seen that the shit was capped. I only drove that car once and it was literally no use for it. So uh, she sold the Tesla um, and... Uh, allegedly got 24000 28000 for the Tesla. I'm just telling y'all the tea. All right. Um, I've literally tried to help this person so much from losing her mansion, losing her cars, and et cetera. So, therefore, if I pay my money on anything, it's mine. So, this friend is the friend that she used to be cool with or whatever, named Brittany. Um, I don't know if these account numbers are real. I know that it's on the internet. I'm not the one that put it on the internet. I just want to put that out there. Um, matter of fact, they're not in full, so we're going to keep it like that. You can get a, round, a routing number offline. Uh, she said, back home, the mortgage company lawyer is calling me now. If you can't do it, let me know so I, I can know how to go, I guess, about things. Um, the bank account is Chase. She says she needs the account number, wire routing number, uh, name on the account and the full address, which is true. When you wire money, you do need the wire account number. And I know that because uh, all the money I had to wire to get this damn house I'm in. All right, so. I'm on the gas, bitch, I'm appreciate the resub, friend. 
so this is a text message. Uh, she said, technically, that G-Wagon is mine. Um, that'll be 24000 Also, with this whole 24000 situation, uh, it was some scandal going on with that 24000 Uh, What's her name? Sherelle has that full text. I'll show y'all that later. Um, okay, you don't have to send me that money. Just use it for the cars. Let me know when you get home to swap cars. So apparently they either swap cars, which clearly it says, or um, Danny took the other one. I'm really not sure. I'm just giving y'all the tea. All right, next. The company's payroll is wired from the business account to seven shifts. Every payroll, uh, that's how you know Corey don't know my business. That's that sh he's trying to tell Arsenio Hall. Arsenio Hall is, um, what's that child name? Sherelle. All right, so this is her showing the account um, and them paying out payroll. 1111 in the chat, 111 in the chat. <clears throat> the wire amount was 7,900. Lord, she putting the business bank account numbers up there and everything. This is crazy. This is her putting her own account information up there. I ain't got nothing to do with it. <laughs> Why would you do that? Um, this is to show that uh, she actually did send that money off. <sighs> this is what I got here. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Next. Y'all, Corey and Brittany has linked with S. Hodge, but I had to look out for both of them. All right. Uh, Danny's insinuating that Corey and Brittany is broke. Um, also, the... <laughs> The cash apps, um, the cash app question was answered, but I call cap. I call cap. I call cap. Y'all, a lot of times, see, I don't reach out to people because for some reason, they either, I ain't going to say afraid to talk to me like I'm that person, but I'm just going to ask them questions that I know you're going to lie about. I know you're going to lie about. I feel as though she knew about the cash apps the entire time, okay, um, from what she said about the cash apps. Um, I'm not playing the clip, but I just want y'all to know that I feel like she knew about the cash apps the entire time. That's that's the best thing I can tell y'all. <laughs> um, if you If you, she knew about the cash apps after the fact of her receiving money, allegedly, and she allegedly sent him back the money that he sent her, but... Why would she, why would she send him money back when he already got an app to make it seem like he actually sent her real cash apps? You know what I'm saying? What is the point of you sending $10,000 back, $20,000 back, $30,000 back? What's the point? Not only that, cash app has a goddamn limit. We already knew it was cap. Just waiting on her to confirm that it was cap. But I just feel like she tried to put like a little lie in there and say, that she was sending his money back when in in actuality, you knew the shit was fake. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm just, that's all I got with that. Uh, she says, so save your live and clock that T itch. All right. This is apparently Corey asking for her, for some money from her. Um, here's the list. His phone bill is 600 times two months. Corey, why the hell is your phone bill so high? Uh, beats 200 fatal law, 2,500. Clearly, y'all can read. The total got up to 6,800. I ain't gonna lie, them beats he got five. So I, <laughs> I see why he was paying the amount he was paying for them beats. Um, she say, oh, this light. I told you, and to be honest, I'm finna host a sale for my raffle today. So to be honest, hopefully it'll pull in like 10K in the next two days. The fact it's about to end. Plus the five k for David, so you know he's you know getting up money however he can, and uh, apparently you know Danny's the one who kind of told him to that she'll help him out. Allegedly, that's what he said. Um, Corey can't even pay his phone bill. She said I wasn't going to expose this dude, but I swear that man is dead broke. He's surviving off six hundred to a thousand every two weeks from off YouTube. Well, Danny, you only get paid once a month with YouTube. It's just definitely not every two weeks. 
That's why I tapped into Patreon. Hit the link in the pinned comment. Y'all wonder why <clears throat> niggas is going to Patreon, going to kick and got Twitch. We get paid once a month with YouTube, literally. I got paid today. All right. <clears throat> You gotta, you gotta work for that money. He better, you better get the T page. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna forever have a coin. I got something new to talk about every day. You understand me? Humbly saying every single day. Um, once again, all of this is alleged. I'm gonna keep saying once again, all of this is alleged. It is my opinion, and that's where I'm gonna keep it at. All right. Next, um, Corey is mad about the monkey. Y'all have been telling y'all that Sherelle Ho is a liar. And I clock every MF and teapot that she tried to start. According to the money I paid for that monkey, like, girl, did you see my accounts? Let's be for real. She sent the second half for me because my Apple Pay always reached the limit. I sent that right back to her. Corey uh, didn't even have $3,500 to give that man once he picked up the monkey. I ain't going to cap you down. I wouldn't have paid $3,500 for, 3, for your monkey either. <laughs> That's your monkey. You want that goddamn monkey. Uh, let me see what Apple Pay's limit is. <clears throat> Apple Pay daily limit. Ah. Uh -huh. Per message. Per message, you can send or receive a maximum of $10,000 within a seven-day period. You can send or receive a maximum of $10,000. Got it. All right. So maybe, because once again, this is alleged. Maybe she already maxed out on her limit. I understand that this says that. Um, but, you know, this might have been for another day. I don't know. I'm just telling y'all the tea. All right. Um, this is the her partner sending her the 3500 um, I don't know if she sent it back. I don't know. All right. Let's keep it moving. Um, Corey just mad because he thought he was about to get 50000 to invest in his music career. <clears throat> Man, you haven't even made a hit yet, so why would I invest in you? See, niggas prey on women who they think is vulnerable, and he thought he was going to get some money out of me just to find out that I'm cheap as F. Okay. Uh, she said a B is delusional and jealous if she think I don't got it. And that's that. <clears throat> now, when Sherelle started breaking down um, Danny's bills, I was like, damn, $15,000 in mortgage for what? Y'all, it ain't that much rent in the world, mortgage in the world. Like, I understand we, uh, you know, we like nice things, but like, bro. I, I got, at some point, definitely going to have a big house for Shosky. But it's absolutely going to be on my land. We going to build it up. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that the, the mortgage won't be high. Uh, a lot of people mortgage is $10,000. My shit, $3,000. You know what I'm saying? But paying $12,000 more? I just, oh my God. I wouldn't, I don't want to do it. Not yet. I don't want to do it. Call me broke. Hey, I, <clears throat> I'll be broke over paying $15,000 in mortgage. Not only that, the car payments. Not only that, the car insurances. Not only that, the taxes on the house. Not only that, that McDonald's Wi-Fi she's paying for the lights got to be high. Okay? That's a lot. That's a lot, bro. All right. Um, <clears throat> S. Hodge got nothing else to lie about. I just clocked her whole upcoming live. Lastly, I obtained the court papers, not the manager. See, this is where you failed at. You countersued and you suing me personally. Technically, what do I got to give you personally? And from all of the evidence I got on you, you're not going to win. You can't even afford a lawyer. Now, she's simply saying, um, you suing me personally. Personally, I don't have no money. My All my money is in the business. So that's that on that. Uh, this is the proof of her having a lawyer, Danny. Don't got a lawyer, girl. Who do you think I am? This is the lawyer telling her what to do. Um, she said I had to get furniture from out Brittany's mansion. Brittany couldn't even pay the moving service to get out of her mansion. So I offered to buy certain items that she sent me pictures of. 
to put money in her pocket since she was going to let everything go. Anyways, all I got was a pool table, two pictures and uh, two vases. So why would I let certain things go to waste after I tried to give this girl the money to save her mansion? Um, which I wasn't understanding last night. Now I understand. So apparently this is the furniture, which will make sense. If you ain't got no money, uh, you're going to sell, you know what I'm saying? The stuff that you have now, Brittany, which is the friend who was exposed to her, made it seem like <clears throat> Danny was trying to <clears throat> basically like get stuff out of her house for free um, because Danny's house is apparently empty. Danny never proved that it wasn't empty. So maybe it is. I mean, not only are you paying that much in rent, mortgage, whatever, uh, you also have to furnish an entire mansion. Bruh, it's just a lot. I, I don't even want to mansion at this point. Uh, she said the manager of Peach Cobbler Factory was fired because she refused to accept the court papers. The manager got fired for false reporting, which means that her inventory reports were wrong three times and everything was not reporting in the system. I visit my store every week to check my reports and inventory. S. Hodge is a liar, y'all. Uh, I never accused I never accused you of anything. You can email the company or whomever you want to email, but I am the franchise owner of Peach Cobbler Factory, Frisco, Texas. I stated that the inventory is not reflecting what's in the Heartland system and the reporting was wrong. So therefore I explained to you that it's ground to termination. All right. So that's that on that. <clears throat> According to Smoothie King, do you actually think I'll be going to training if I haven't paid any money? So, um, Brittany, which is her ex friend said that she did not pay for Smoothie King. So she's getting trained, which she's apparently a trainer today, uh, but she did not pay for Smoothie King yet in its entirety, allegedly. All right. So basically she's saying that um, anybody can go to Smoothie King training for free without being a franchise owner. Sometimes y'all got to think about certain things. Um, I mean, is that something that you can Google? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. We, we don't, we ain't bought franchises yet. As <clears throat> Hodge, you just lost the little fan base you had trying to ride for Corey. Um, Corey, let's settle this. If you can log into your account and show me that you got at least ten thousand, I'll give you this thir thirty thousand check that I took out of my account just to add to my savings. So apparently, this is a cashier's check, thirty thousand um, dollars. Pay order to Chestine. Uh, I guess she was paying herself. Uh, this is the proof of the check. So, yeah. I don't know. Uh, if Corey don't have $10,000 in his bank account, you know, what I realized, to be completely honest watching this, is I'm doing great in life. <laughs> like, because it's multi-millionaires and, uh, or have had money. Like, y'all, we can't say Corey had no money. Remember, he stole Carmen money. <clears throat> so, we can't say he ain't never had millions because he damn sure has had millions. But it's all on his fingers. It's all on his neck. It's all in the clothes. It's all in all them damn cars he had, which he does not obtain any of these things. Aside from the jewelry and maybe a car, I think, today, because I'm not understanding what a cars are because he driving shawty Cullinan. The math is not math. And so what I want to say is, y'all, if you feel like you're not successful right now in life, you're very successful. If your if your bills are paid, hello, and you are able to feed yourself and your family, baby, you are up in life, okay? I want y'all to know right now, diamonds aren't worth nothing. Okay? They're not worth shit. You can to sell to sell back anyway. They ain't worth nothing. Okay? When you buy them, cool. When you sell them, try and sell them back to get some money on your jewelry, everything you want to get money back on. You want to get jewelry that you can sell back just in case, niggas. Things happen. You know what I'm saying? Gold. Gold is where the money is at. You know what I'm saying? Um, the watches, the APs and shit like that. The plain Janes. That's where the bread is at. That one is mine. Or oh, both of them. What were you asking me? gotta be that one because it just looked used <laughs> um the plain james is the ones that get you that bread back so you know what i'm saying y'all don't feel bad a lot of these people wearing fake ass jewelry anyway 
Um, and, you know, just kind of got everybody feeling like they ain't got no money and they just broke and their life is just in shambles. No, these niggas' lives is in shambles. I sleep great at night knowing my bills pay and I got food in the refrigerator, girl. That's what matters to me. If my daughter asks me for a DoorDash and I can buy it, God damn it, life is great. Because, <laughs> okay? you know, they buy you, they ask you for a DoorDash every day. Damn children. All right. <clears throat> um... This is the G-Wagon situation. Corey just called the police to my mansion. Corey is a police nigga. You hear me? Um, I politely showed him the money that I spent for the G-Wagon, and they clearly knew he was all cap, and they allowed me to write a statement. I also informed them that luxury lease partners are looking for the Rolls Royce Cullinan and the Rolls Wraith uh, because I clearly paid them to save the G-Wagon, so therefore I'm going to contact luxury lease partners in the morning and tell them the whereabouts of their vehicles. So they can pick them up. According to the G-Wagon, <clears throat> I guarantee you ain't nobody getting nothing until I get my 7850 back or else I'm turning it over to luxury lease partners too. I'll take a loss, but I'm going to surrender this one <clears throat> just because they still looking for the other two because Corey don't got no money <clears throat> to pay the car pay payments and Brittany was already behind on all three of them. Now, y'all, rightfully so, it makes sense as to <clears throat> your business not doing the best anymore. <clears throat> and you got three hefty ass car payments. <laughs> Y'all, my car payment is already a mess. Like, and I'm not in no damn Cullen and no, no Tesla. I'm in a, a, a upside down loan though. I'm ready to slide them. They car back. Okay. So they ain't the only one with car problems, but I can only imagine like one car for me is on oh my damn nerves. So three to four cars with major car payments. I don't understand why these niggas was getting all these bills. <laughs> I just, oh, it. <clears throat> Every year I have bill cutting season. What can we get rid of today? Okay. What can we get rid of? All right. Uh, -uh I need to be able to do stuff. I need, <laughs> I need to be able to do stuff. So. Mm -mm. You're asked too much. All right. If y'all see the green Rose, War Rose Royce Wraith, girl, anywhere, please call Luxury Partners, LC. All right. I was ready for his ass to go so that I could listen to Bop in Peace. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Now she's throwing a sympathy party. She want y'all to feel sorry for her. We ain't we ain't talking about the CPS case right now. We're talking you taking up for Corey, knowing that he's wrong just because you jealous of me. I don't team up. Oh, my God. Wasn't her and Corey <clears throat> was just on the phone. So that's teaming up, right? Let's clock that. Let's clock the fact that she been lost the custody of those children Years ago in my... Oh, God. Thanks for listening. <sighs> it really stresses me out to read these things sometimes. Uh, only stated the things she do on the media, putting her and the kids in danger. I never stated nothing about her parenting, so that's not illegal. You tried to make it seem like my call was the reason you don't got your... Seeds, she hates on every successful black woman. The only way she's getting those few coins is when she mentioned Danny because don't nobody want those tied ass wigs. I don't team up with ops. I make money. I don't team up with ops to make money. That play beef ish sailed away the moment that MF put them fillers on my kids. And she obviously called CPS and that's why uh, Sherelle is upset. <clears throat> Uh, you don't even care about them uh, because if I was going through the situation you're going through, I'll be more focused on trying to get full custody of mine uh, back instead of being on the media trying to blemish other people images every day. You already made it seem like we are friends and I didn't know nothing about you. <clears throat> you had the audacity to speak on mine today. But let me tell you something. I don't club. I don't get drunk. None of that. All I do is travel around the world handling business to keep feeding my family. So that's why when an MF say her parents got her kids, it don't move me because I'm not out here clubbing. I ain't gonna lie. That monkey is a whole responsibility. 
she might as well have them damn kids. Them kids might as well travel with her everywhere she go because that monkey ain't even going to be able to go everywhere you go. I, 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 I think that monkey was the worst investment that she ever, ever, ever made. I ain't even gonna lie. It's her. It's her life. Do what it is that you do. You're a grown ass woman. But God damn it, having a monkey ah, ah, around all day. I'd rather have my my kids with me. Here go your iPad. Here go your phone. Here go your your headphones. Sit your ass down and watch something. Here go some chips. Okay. I think that's way more simple than a damn monkey, bro. Oh my God, would never get a damn monkey. So you're gonna have to send that monkey to court. Corey got a better chance of taking care of that monkey than Danny. Danny ain't got the patience for that monkey. Um, I, granted, she did have a monkey before, like she said. <laughs> said, I, I got I got that monkey. I, I I had plenty of monkeys. This is my second one. All right, don't ever forget it. Um, her parents got her kids. They don't move me. I'm out here handling business, and my parents are the only ones I trust to keep my children. I retired my mom at age 24. Let's talk about that. All right, back to Corey because old girls just need the views to get paid. Um, it's whatever y'all ask for tonight. Here you go. Um, oh, this this his bank account number one 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 in the chat. She exposed his bank account number. She exposed his um, um, social security number. Uh, well, she was on his ass last night. You hear me? I just. Uh, y'all, Corey is trying to do the 72 hour rule. If I don't respond, this will be all over. This will be all over in 72 hours. They teach us that y'all. I wanted you to respond, not to be sneaky and try to let Arsenio Hall speak. So she won't Corey to talk back. To be honest, I think she still won't Corey. I just think she feels some type of way that they left her out. But for her to keep trying to get Corey attention, <clears throat> it's given she want to talk to him. <clears throat> but Corey, Corey's not going to respond to this, not only because I feel like he's, he's not trying to give her any attention because that's it's obvious she wants his attention. But I think because it's just a lot of lies in this, Corey is never fully innocent for me. But sometimes he don't be all the way guilty either. And... I feel like everybody just did some wrong in this. Everybody's fishing, trying to figure out how to get some money because they got a hundred bills. <laughs> Literally, everybody can pay their bills. You got bread to keep them bills paid for the most part, but you ain't got no money after that. So now they got to start scamming people and I'm on. Listen, I have. Probably six streams of income because these bills high. Y'all, these bills are high. Don't let nobody confuse you. These bills high as hell. We got to do what we got to do. <laughs> but <clears throat> the way they're going about it is just, it's crazy, bro. They trying to keep up with the, the um, you know what I'm saying? The designer and all that, man. Nobody give a fuck about that shit. Um... Oh my gosh, y'all, this lady said my house is in somebody else's name. All right, so the next thing. Danny got her house and her LLC, well, her EIN number, basically. Um, it's Peachy Time Chest Chestine Washington Soul member, <clears throat> but her and the other person she's cool with, Ari, her, well, used to be cool with, she's her business partner with. Um, the peach cobbler, whatever she, uh, she's on the LLC as well, uh, allegedly, but this house looks like it's just in her name, but apparently in the LLC that they share together. So girl, I just, I'm just here to tell y'all the tea. Uh, <clears throat> Settlement statement. Settlement for what? I don't know what all this is. I don't know nothing about these big numbers. Cash settlement from seller. 
I don't know nothing about these big numbers, baby. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know what that's about. All right, uh, Brittany, everybody know you're a real scammer, and that's why you literally lost everything, including your mansion, your cars, and your husband. Uh, so apparently the Brittany person was doing tax fraud. She's definitely not somebody to trust either. But, um, yeah, Sherelle exposed her a year ago, by the way. So... What she's saying is questionable as well. <laughs> um, she's proven that she got her Cadillac truck still, allegedly. Um, okay, so Ari. Ari is the person that she is in business with. This video is going to be so long. Uh, these are text messages basically telling Ari, y'all can read it because, girl, I'm, I'm tired. Telling Ari that she basically needs to help more with the business. And this ain't where the text message start. My fault. I did it again. It starts right here. Um, she basically feel like her partner's lazy. Sherelle Live, whew, thank you for giving me a break. Y'all, this part one, I'll get y'all part two later. Give me a second. <clears throat> 